Hey, happy Halloween. I'm Chef Sean Davis, and this is my beautiful daughter. Savannah. And you're watching Dining with Daddy, and today we're gonna make some spooky mummy dogs and some Halloween Rice Krispie treats. Let's cook, Daddy. Hello, my name is Savannah Davis, and these are the ingredients you're going to need for mummy dogs and Halloween Rice Krispie treats when dining with Daddy. Hot dogs, American cheese, crescent rolls, crispy rice cereal, marshmallows, butter, and orange food coloring. Hey, welcome back everybody. Thanks for stopping in with Dining with Daddy again. Today we're going to make us some fun spooky but dogs. You ready? Ready. Spooky mummy dogs. So first we got our hot dogs here. We got cheese, my daughter told you everything, crescent rolls. So I'm gonna open up these crescent rolls really fast. And these things are good for like little parties, you know. And I'm gonna let my daughter just have added on these. Cause this is a fun little thing to do. I'm gonna show you how to do this. We got our crescent roll sheet. We got our sheet we're gonna bake them on. So what I want you to do, babe, I want you to spray this sheet down, you know, just real, you know, okay. lightly. So we have that ready while I unfold this for you. So I'm gonna unfold this crescent roll sheet. Like that. And just roll it out. Move this stuff out of the way. There you go. You got it good. We just don't want them to stick. Go ahead and spray it good. There you go. All right, that's cool. That's good enough, sweetie. Okay. And what you want to do, it's good to have a pizza cutter. You could use a knife for this, but pizza cutter is good for this. And let me just show you how to do, you know, we're going to cut this in strips. So go along, just little strips like that. We're going to take those off. Can you do strips on that whole thing for me? Like how big? Um, a little bit small, about right there. Good to go. Yeah, that's it. Gonna make them look like bandages around the hot dogs. That's good, baby. That's good. So I just want you to cut off one more. Okay. And I'm gonna show you how to do the first wrap. And then I'm gonna cut the rest of the strips out. So you can put cheese on this or you don't have to, it's optional. You know, like a little cheese around here. So what you want to do, half with cheese or half without? Sure. Okay. So just got a good old American, American slice of cheese here. I'm going to break it down in quarters. So I just like to break it with my hand. You don't have to cut it or nothing, do anything special. All right, that's cool right there. So what we'll do. I'm going to show you how to do this. We lay our piece of cheese over the hot dog, just like that. We take our strip, and you start wrapping this thing up, and you wrap it, just like that. And you always want to leave a little space in here, because we might make a little mustard face or something, but just like this. What you think about that? It's cool. You think you can do that? Yes. All right. We'll go ahead and finish that up okay. and get you another piece and, and wrap it up. Make it look like a mummy. I'm going to cut the rest of these strips out, okay? Okay. All right. Because we're going to wrap these things up. Just like that. You want those strips to be, hmm, maybe a quarter an inch half inch, depending on how big, you know, I guess the hot dog or the sausage is you're doing. But the dough is always going to stretch, so it's going to look like bandages. You see how that's looking like bandages around there? Yeah. Yep, so you can go up across. It don't have to be in a certain type of pattern. Go across there. Just like that. I'm going to do one with you, okay? Okay. So we're wrapping these up. These things are fun. They're easy. You know. 
It's a simple recipe, but that's what we do around here, you know. I like to let my daughter take over these projects. And that's something they can get in the kitchen and do themselves. So, I'm going to wrap mine. Yours look better than mine. No, yours looks better. You're awesome. So, what else is going on? What you planning on being for Halloween? I'm being Helen Keller. Helen Keller. You like this Helen Keller, don't you? Yes. You do. What's her name? Or the Miracle Worker? The Miracle Worker is like my favorite play. Is it? Yeah. Now, what is it you like about Helen Keller? I just think that she's very inspirational. Is she? Yeah. What kind of things did she do? Well, she was blind and deaf, but she got this teacher named Annie Sullivan. And I can't remember the day, uh -huh. but they were at the water pump. And Annie would spell it into Helen's hand, so like the names of things. Uh -huh. And when the water splashed over Helen's hand, there was just like this spark, and Helen just knew. Oh. That is, I mean, that is amazing. Like, I didn't know about Helen Keller until you told me about Helen Keller. That's how awesome you are. You're teaching me new things. That's for you right there, too. Okay. Wow. So you had your little camp outing, right? Yes. What was the name of the camp? YMCA Store Camps. YMCA Store Camps. So what's going on? What was happening at the camp? Well, we went horseback riding. We learned about cold blood animals. We did archery. Well, what was your favorite animal? Um, I like the turtles. Turtles? Yes. Turtles are cool. They don't move real fast, but they're cool. <laughs> what kind of turtles did you see? Was it different kinds? Yes. There was this one named Michelangelo, because uh -huh. he was this turtle that had orange on him. So. Oh, did he do karate? No. No? Okay. Your brother would have liked him. He's a ninja turtle. And just remember, guys, just keep that little spot there for the face when you lay him down. The knees are going to plump up real nice. Yeah, baby, you're doing a good job. I'm gonna wrap these up. So what else? What else is going on? What we got going on today? Um, I'm doing it. I have to go to dance. Dance. And that's the lyrical. Yes. Lyrical. That's awesome. You do a lot of stuff. <laughs> Your mom keeps you pretty busy, don't she? Yes. That's good. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. Keep you out of trouble. <laughs> That's awesome. These are cool, babe. These are going to be so good, too. Your brother might even eat one. What do you think? I think he will. Think so? Yes. Yeah, this is good. Let's throw that one on there. So we got some with cheese on them, some without. And what we're going to do while these are cooking, we're going to start on some Rice Krispie treats. Real easy treat. Just going to make them orange. Paint the faces on them like jack-o'-lanterns. It's going to be a good time. So I Halloweened out. You ready? Do those. You got two more, baby. Okay. We got two more. There you go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to let you do these last two. And I'm going to start getting this the pot hot it's for the Halloween treats because we're going to put these right in the oven. You get those two, okay? Okay. I think I'm going to need some more of these. Some more strips? Yes. I got you. I got you taken care of. There you go. That should do you, right? Yes. Okay. All right, and I'm going to come over here and just get this pot going a little bit. Just so it can heat up a little bit. So I'm 
so we can get a jump start on the Rice Krispie treats. These are going. Baby, you're doing such a good job. Get this stuff out of the way. I don't hear your mom or your brother. It's kind of quiet around here. Well, Sean's probably watching some TV stuff. He likes that TV, doesn't he? Yes. Your mom got him that Questcom. Yeah. Loves my Calisto. Those are looking good, babe. What you think? One more? Yes. Okay. So let me look and see how these are looking right here. Those are looking like mummies. Mm. Gonna be scared to eat those. So are you gonna get the little witch thing on <laughs> for us today, right? Yeah. You gotta put this up. We came to see your face. <laughs> You're hiding from the people. Oh, that's awesome. That's good. All right. Guess what I am for Halloween today? A football player. For what team? The Lions. Yeah, the Lions. Gonna put those in the oven. At 375, we're gonna let those go for about 12 to 14 minutes. And um, while we're doing that, we're ready to get these Rice Krispie treats. Yes, I am. Yeah, babe. I'm a football player for the Lions. And I've been crying a little bit lately about the whole thing. You know why? Why? Because we haven't been doing too well this year. Not like last year. Last year, we were okay. You know, but this year is a little bad. So I'm going to get us a spoon. But we're going to turn it around. You see what the name is on the back of my jersey. See, this is this is an old one. This is Oz Hakeem because, you know, I haven't been in the mood <laughs> to buy a Lions jersey in a few years, as you can see. So we're going to do about uh, two tablespoons of butter in here. Two tablespoons of butter. And you can just stir that around, babe, okay. until that butter starts melting. Trying to heat up just a little bit. And this is going to be real quick, real simple. It's like two tablespoons of butter. We're going to use like three cups of marshmallows and four cups of Rice Krispie treats. But we're gonna what we're gonna do too is the twist is we're gonna color the marshmallows orange while they're cooking. So it's not gonna look like a traditional rice krispie treat. It's gonna be that that Halloween orange. There you go, babe. It's all melted up. So we're gonna put these in there. You ready? Ready. Okay. You gotta just keep it, keep it, keep it moving. Don't ever stop stirring it. Okay. got to keep them turning. Keep them turning. There you go. I think we probably should just do all of them because you might want to take some of these to your friends. What you think? Okay. Gonna do that? Yes. Okay. Because that's gonna, not going to be, a, you know, because daddy, will, I'll be up late night and I'll, I'll eat that amount, you know? Because I'm a snack maniac, right? Yes, you are. So my daughter got all of these things melted right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring that color in. We're going to start coloring it. And uh, you tell me when you think it's a good orangey color. Go ahead. You got to mix it in. Oh, that's good already, huh? Mm, it is, like pumpkin. Yeah, keep mixing it. So tell me some more about camp, baby. 
Tell me everything. Everything you can about camp. Well, my favorite thing was the horseback riding. Okay. What was the horsey's name? Felony. Felony. I don't know if I want to ride it. That, that sounds like a scary horse. <laughs> he was actually really nice. <laughs> Is he nice? <laughs> okay. Sounds like he's just built to throw people off of him. <laughs> It was a good horse? Yes, it was really fun. Okay. Oh, that's a good orange color. So what else happened? I mean, you rolled felony. Well, there was... Okay, we can take this off. Just write it off. Go ahead. I'm listening to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We did this thing. It was Native American Day. Uh-huh. So we had a cookout, and we played Native American games, and made a Native American craft. So. Okay. Did you bring me anything home? Yes, but it's in the garage, so. Is it? Yes. How come I didn't know about it? Nobody told me? No. Oh, okay. Stir that for me, huh? Okay. It sounded like you had a good time. I did. I had a really good time. It was all the chaperones? They had a good time? Yeah. Maybe we can go back there in the summer. That would be cool. I don't know how your mom feels about the great outdoors, though. You want to ask her and see how she feels about that? We can ask. Okay. And they have a lake. They have a lake? Yes. So okay. We could go canoeing. Is it bugs out there? Yes, oh, but it's okay. camp. Okay. okay. We're going to see how she feels about that. So I'm going to pour all these in. And stir them up, babes. Stir them. Let me show you how to get it. Get it in the corners. You did an awesome job with this. Look at that. I almost wish we could put them in something smaller. Then that way we can cut out like a pumpkin shaped circles. All right? So I'm gonna put this in here. Did we spray that down? Spray that down for me, okay. just to be sure. Okay, because he's only gonna go in about to half of this thing right here. So, watch yourself, babe. I just didn't want you to burn your hand or anything. So I'm gonna just put this right here. And I'm going to keep this shaped out in like a brick shape so we can make like three-dimensional Rice Krispie Treat pumpkins. We're going to paint the face with chocolate, right? All right. We're going to get all jacked up on chocolate and Rice Krispie Treats. Your mom's going to love that one. So I'm going to put this right over here so we can keep it three-dimensional because when they get time, I'm going to cut out some squares. We're going to shape them up, okay? Okay. All right. So I'm going to use that. I'm gonna take a piece of wax paper. Scoop this off the spoon. Drop that down into there. Like that. Then we take our wax paper. Push it back to where I want it to be. Just like that. Okay? Okay. Just like that. Now we can go check on our mummy dogs. Why these cool off? So we're gonna set those to the side. See how those are going? How those look to you? They look good. Those look good. Pull the door down for me. Oh wow. So you can get a look at those and see if you get a closer look. You see why I told you to put the space in between there? So we can put the eyes. The eyes. The eyes make you scared. That's what it is. It's all about the eyes. You ever look at the eyes of the teams that the lion play? The eyes will scare you. No, I'm going to leave them alone because, you know, they try. 
They try really hard. So we're going to bring these over there. I was looking for some tongs. Hold on, let me see. Sorry. Here, why don't you just grab a fork for me? Because I'm going to need you to take these off of the pan and put them onto the plate. Okay, we're going to take these over here. Remember, don't touch the pan because it's hot. So let's see if they're coming off. Let me try one first. Let's see if they're breaking, breaking free. They should be breaking free. There we go. That's just because that one got a little cheese up underneath it. Melty cheese. Yeah. But the rest of them are free, so I need you to put these onto the plate. You know what I mean? Like, so, daddy got them chef hands, so I just grab them. But, you know, you might have chef hands, too, but don't try it. We'll try it later. So should I play? Yeah, you can poke it in there. It's not going to hurt it. See, that one's a, that one's a real good one. Yeah, there you go. Those look so nice, huh? Don't touch the pan, remember. There you go. Is it coming up? There you go. Let me get this hot pan out of the way. And this is the part where the kids start having fun because they get to do all kinds of crazy things. So right here, just a little regular mustard. Put a little bit on a toothpick. One eye. Two eyes, just like that. And you just make your mummy faces. You want to go ahead and do them all? Yes. Do them all, babe. I mean, I guess, I guess so. Can't let you have all the fun, right? All right. Okay, I'll come on this side. How about that? Okay. Just do this guy here. Ooh, these look nice, huh? You know, you're so talented. Thank you. You must get that from your dad. What do you think? I don't know. I might get some from mom, too. Yeah, she's cool. She's not cool as dad, though, right? Look at those. I show those to the world. Those are awesome. Those look so spooky. Mm. Your brother might be scared to eat those. I was just playing it yesterday. He told me he's not scared of anything. He said, Dad, I'm not scared of anything. I said, well, we're going to sign you up for the Lions. So, now we got those ready. You ready to do some painting on these? Yes, I am. Okay, so we got our mummy dogs out of the, out of the oven. Those are ready to go. And now we're going to work with the Rice Krispie Treats. And I didn't want these to get all the way dry and cool all the way down because I want them warm. And what I'm going to do is make a 3D. I'm going to just make a ball out of them. So I got my gloves on. Just rub them down with a little bit of shortening. And that way they won't stick to my hands. So I can dig them out. And I can still feel these are warm. And I like that. And I'm going to turn them just like that. Because I'm going to let my daughter and my son paint these up. You know, make little spooky jack-o'-lantern faces. So, I'm going to do it like that. That's going to be cool? That's cool. With chocolate, it's going to be good, right? Yes, they are. Yeah. So, I got that. Do one for him. One for you. You think your mom want to do one? I think she will want to do one. You think so? I don't know. We're going to see. Who's going to have the scariest looking one? Is it going to be you? Probably me. Probably you? Probably me. Oh, we're going to see. We're going to see. I think I can make the scariest one. You know why? Why? 
Um, I was going to do another lion's joke, but I'm going to leave them alone because I can't keep doing lion's jokes around here because you got family members that get a little sensitive about that subject. And I don't feel like arguing with any of them about the lions. So we're going to talk about Michigan State. How about Michigan State? Football. You gotta watch a Michigan State game with me, you know. I've been riding with Michigan State for a long time. I was riding with Michigan State when they weren't a good team. Back in the day, they weren't real good. When they started winning, I said, I knew we were gonna win, you know. So, I got all your, um, the balls ready to go. So, don't, aren't those better? Look, we can paint those. Those will look like, just like pumpkins, right? Yeah. All right. So, we'll do this. All right. So, now we got chocolate. And I'm going to let you paint away. You want me to do one first or you want to do it? I, you already know what you want to do. Go ahead. And this is that easy stuff right there. You just sit back, let your children work it out. Yeah, put a lot of chocolate on there. I love chocolate. Those are gonna be so good tonight. Awesome. It's beautiful, babe. Thanks. You're talented. Thanks. I'm gonna need a lot of this chocolate. If you're gonna be able to see it. Yeah, use as much as you need to use. That's good. That's good. So you take the lyrical dance class, right? And what other one? I take hula and ballet. Hula and ballet. So you're gonna have like. Three different, three different um, dances for your recital. Yeah. That's going to be a whole lot. You're going to be changing. I wonder if your mom's going backstage with you guys again. I hope so. She's going to have to because that's going to be a lot of changing for you. Let me see that. Oh, that looks spooky. Look at that. And that's how you have fun with Halloween stuff, you know, Halloween treats. Good time, right? Yeah. I think we should eat some of this stuff. What you think? I think we should. Okay. We're going to eat some of this. When y'all come back, we're going to sit down. We're going to let y'all know how it tastes. All right. I want to thank you for joining us again on Dining with Daddy. Again, we got these delicious spooky mummy dogs and these, what are they? The Halloween Rice Krispie Treats. Looking like jack-o'-lanterns. My daughter did a good job. I think we should eat some of this. What do you think? You think so? All right, I want you guys to have a safe Halloween, happy Halloween, and all that kind of stuff. And remember, it's so easy. Even a grown-up can do it. Happy Halloween.